Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you the two rare Hermes items I've got. Some fine jewelry pieces I also picked up and also some new pieces in my wardrobe. I hope you're all having a great start to 2023. I am especially excited about this video because I've been waiting on two Hermes items. They're rare, they've come in. Yep, I will show you that very, very soon. And also you saw from my last vlog that I did some fine jewelry shopping as well. So stay tuned to the end of the video because finally the giveaway prize has arrived. It is from Loewe. I did a little poll and most of you voted that you wanted something from Loewe. So of course, if you guys request it, I'm gonna deliver. So let's get started with the very first unboxing. Okay, let's start off with Hermes first. And in this bag here is this box, yes. You all know, for those of you that have been following me for ages, what this is, but this is a rare one. I have been asking for this for ages. Our local Hermes store still doesn't have the 2023 ribbon, but that's okay because this is, I'll show you. Dun, dun, dun. Ah a Pegasus Rodeo and this color, it's actually got it here, is in Cray, Nata and Baton. So you can see that the wings are in, I believe this is alligator because it comes with Cites, so all exotic, anything that has a touch of exotic has to come with this. And so yes, it is alligator. So I believe the body is in Cray. The wings I think are in Baton, a matte alligator. And I see where the nata is now. Behind the wings, this is the nata part. So Cray is definitely cooler than nata. I brought my mini Kelly out just to show you. So this is nata and this is Cray. They're both gorgeous. This white Pegas, I should say, Rodeo will go with all my neutrals. Like this is my Gris Tortorelle B25, just for some extra eye candy. And it pops so well on color. So this is my uh, Mauve Sylvest Mini Evelyn. And look at that, how gorgeous does that look? So I absolutely was wanting this piece because you know I collect Rodeos, especially the Pegas Rodeos now. And let me share with you the price. So the price of this Pegas is $1,485. So I did get this just before the price increase. For those of you that aren't aware, Hermes does have a price increase early Jan. So I would say prices went up approximately five to 10% overall. It varies according to category, but it is more expensive obviously because of the touch of exotic, but I wanted it, I loved it. So that is my first rare item I got. So whilst I was in Hermes, as you saw, I tried on some of their fine jewelry pieces. If you're into fine jewelry, I actually try heaps of the iconic pieces on. So do check out that vlog. And also before I forget, I got so many questions on what I was wearing that day. So what I was wearing was a free people dress. I've got it here. I've actually worn it like three times now and it is this dress. And you know what? I have to thank you guys again because you recommended Free People to me. I've known about Free People, but they're huge in the US. They've been around for like 20 plus years. But for Aussies, they don't know about it. They actually do ship to Australia. I think if you spend over 100 USD, you get free shipping. But what I love about this dress, it's sort of like kimono inspired, but it is so comfortable. I love the billowy sleeves. I love that it's got that slight accordion pleat. It definitely is a slimming dress. It hides your tummy. And I'm all about mixing high and low. So I love that Free People's products are great quality and also great price points. This dress I believe is like 128 USD or something like that, but it comes in so many colors. When I linked it in my vlog, I think there's only a couple of sizes left, but do note that this runs large. So I got a small, 
but I could have fit into the extra small because it's got this tie waist detail here. You can always nip it in. So I will put all the sizes that I wear down below. So I just quickly wanted to show you that dress because I love it. I've been enjoying it heaps and I know a lot of you guys loved it too. So I do wanna thank Free People and Klarna for part sponsoring this video. Guys, I really have you to thank for because I discovered Free People and all the timing just aligned because they reached out and I'm like, I would love to collaborate. You guys have been talking about them. I'm discovering new brands. So just as you guys also help me discover new brands, I hope I've been able to help you discover new brands. And also let me tell you quickly what I'm wearing because it's also from Free People. I've been looking for a top that's not like a blouse. And this is a cotton top, but it's got a little bit of elastane. I love that the bodice has that little bit of detail through it. So it's not just plain. But what I love the most is the sleeve detail. It's got that little bit of lace, a little bit of crochet, and it just has a really nice sleeve length. I saw that it just went on sale, so I think it's like $59.95 USD. That's what I mean, prices are really affordable. And then you know me, I love lace. So what I've tied it in with is one of their top sellers. It's called this half slip. It's really designed to layer up. I love how they styled it on their model. Even though you think it's a slip, you pair it with boots, you pair it with a great jacket and it becomes a winter outfit. And because I love lace so much, it was a no brainer for me to get this cream. It comes in so many different colors, but how I've paired it is you know I paired it with my Kelly belt I paired it with my Hermes shoes the gold and the gold and white neutrals always look so good together get on free people because there's something for everyone it's not just for those in their 20s I mean I'm turning 43 this year you can still find cozy and comfy outfits but also outfits that are still feminine but you can just style it up the way you want and make it a bit edgier so this outfit completely love we are going out after i film this video for dinner and drinks so it will be perfect so what i also got was this oversized knit cardigan and this one here has pockets it's supposed to be oversized it's supposed to be slouchy you know you just throw it on for that effortless look i always have a cardigan or a jacket in my car because you just don't know with melbourne weather and this, this color is actually sold out now. That's how quickly they sell out. But this is a style that sells really well for them. And actually, originally, I wanted it in cream to go with this whole cream outfit. But they sold out, but it's back in stock now. But I think it comes in like six or seven colors. Again, a great price point. And, you know, I got a small. So this here, I, you can just chuck on over what I'm wearing now. Or with the t-shirt and shorts, you just chuck on the cardigan. It's so cozy, yet it's so comfortable as well. And the final piece I want to show you is definitely a classic, but this time for me, it's a classic with a twist. So a leather jacket, well, a leather moto jacket never goes out of style. So this is the one that I picked. It is in avocado green. I know it's not to everyone's liking, but they have it in gorgeous neutrals as well. Of course, black. And, but you know how much I love green. And what really attracted me to this one is that it's slightly oversized. I actually don't own an oversized moto inspired jacket. I've got black ones that are more fitted. And because it's in that washed leather, this, I'm not gonna lie, is heavy. But this is the one that over time, it's just gonna soften up. You can just see that the leather, it's already looks sort of like it's got that worn in, beaten up look. So over time, it's just gonna look better and better. It gives me vintage vibes, which I love. I'm actually going to be bringing this tonight with me because it's going down to I think maybe 14 degrees and yeah this one is more of an investment with all leather it's more but still very reasonably priced compared to other luxury or designer moto jackets which you'll be paying four thousand five thousand for I believe this one is under 700 it's been one of their best sellers for years so if you've been looking for an oversized motor jacket I highly recommend this one and yeah it's really heavy duty and I can see myself wearing this for years to come so as this is more pricier you can actually shop this now get it but pay with Klarna so for those of you that don't know what Klarna is it's this app you can use it on heaps of retailers Aussie US a lot of the countries have it and it just allows you to pay in installments over time but in saying that I always recommend that you shop responsibly and within your means 
I always think cash flow is king. Personally, I've used Klarna myself because I just want to try it out. And yeah, without paying any interest and you've got, you've got that flexibility pay over time, they make the process very, very smooth. I'm going to link all the conditions down below because I want you guys to be informed, but it's great to have that option as well to pay over time. And you know, you're paying the same price for it as well. You know me, I am very big on making sure that you spend within your means. I go much more into detail in my very personal and brutally honest question and answer. I'll link it above about my finances, income streams. Okay, let me show you the fine jewelry pieces I got. For those of you that watched the vlog, you saw me coming out with one bag, but I actually did get two items from Chaumet. A lot of you guys love the pieces I tried on. There's a bit of a story on this, but let's unbox it and I'll show you what I got. So in this little box here, I love the packaging. This box is so luxe. Let me open it up to show you. So it opens like this and then it has a little clasp where you open up and it's got chaume with all this satin and in here is the 18 karat white gold Be My Love ring with three diamonds. The Be My Love collection I would say is one of the most popular from chaume. One, because you can stack them really easily so you can mix and match. They come in different widths as well. So this width that I got is the 3.5 millimeter. You don't have to get it with the three diamonds, but the plain version is actually really well priced for a luxury jewelry item. You can check out their website for prices, but I'll share these prices because this is more expensive, obviously, because it has the three diamonds, but they've got other versions that are thinner, which I also showed, which was beautiful. It was so hard to decide what to get. I've added more onto my wish list. And yes, I will do a 2023 wish list. I feel like it's more about jewelry this year for me. So this one, I originally wanted to wear on my ring finger. So let me just leave this for now. Let me keep going on with a second unboxing because it relates to this tip. Do not dry rings at the end of a very hot day because your fingers do swell up. So just take that into consideration as well. Here, I think you guys probably suspected anyway. In this box, yes, I got dun, 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 the rose gold be my love version as well. And like I said, I love the stackability of it and I love the versatility of it. As you can see, it just fits in perfectly together. If you don't want the bling, you can just turn the ring around and it's like two rings, sort of, not two rings for the price of one, but you get that option if you want something a bit more plain. Or you could have three diamonds showing and a plain side. Really, it's up to you. So I feel like there's a lot of options you can wear it. And I love mixing metals, as you guys already know. So this, I just loved. It was really hard deciding between this or the thinner version, but ultimately I went for the thicker version because I felt it was edgier. So the story is, I actually can't stop thinking about the Josephine ring. A lot of you guys love the Josephine ring on me. And for the Josephine ring, because it is a much more elegant style, I feel it suits the ring finger better. So what I plan on doing is I totally want these but I am going to swap them for a bigger size so that I can wear it on my index more comfortably and I just think that I mean it's really personal preference how you want to wear your rings whether it's the index middle you know or your ring finger but I want to wear it on my index or possibly my middle. So I'm gonna go for a slightly bigger size because I might as well tell you now what's on my wish list is that I really want the Josephine. You know, when I was going through pictures again, I just, I just love it. There's actually so many short baby pieces I love and even Bulgari. So a lot of you love the Serpenti range as well. I hear your feedback. Next time I will vlog more about the Bulgari bags or some of you showed interest in the Cartier bags as well. But I'm so happy with these two pieces. I love them. I'm just gonna swap them for the bigger size and then probably get the Josephine for my ring finger. But either way, however, which way you wanna wear it, it is such a gorgeous ring and something 
you know, not everyone has. I feel like Shawmay is a bit underrated. So if you are looking for a fine jewelry piece that not everyone has, definitely check out Shawmay. So let me share with you the price. Look at this Lux folder it comes in. It's like got the folder and the certificate of authenticity here for each of the products. So for each of these rings, the white gold is always slightly more expensive. That was $3,965 Australian. And then the rose gold was $3,730 Australian. Now, uh, if you were after these, I would get them sooner than later because Chaumet has maintained their lower prices for a while, but I've noticed that they've been having a lot of price increases. So I'm not going to be surprised in the next month or so that they're going to increase their price again. So just a little, little tip for you guys. But even so for these rings with the three diamonds, I feel like this is much more well-priced compared to some of the other luxury designer brands. So I'm so happy with this. Definitely will not be my last Chaumet purchase. Okay, this is the item that I have been wanting. Last year I requested it. My essay said, nah, can't get it. I was very lucky this year. And you're either gonna love it or hate it, but it is a very rare item, a pricey item. But for someone like me, who is a bit of a collector, and you know Hermes is my favorite brand, let me show you what I got. So in this box, is the cutest item. It is in one of the new colorways. Oh, can you guess? It is in this dust bag. Oh my goodness. It is. Oh my goodness. It's all wrapped up. Okay. So, guys, let me present to you my new Kelly doll charm. I know you think, what the hell is that? It looks like a little toy. There's actually a bigger version of this, the Kelly doll. They had a vintage version of it. And I was lucky enough that they had one in the window that I saw, obviously not for sale, but they are highly collectible. If I could get my hands on the bigger version, I would. But when these charms came out, a lot of collectors went gaga over them and it is just the cutest. And it actually, does it even open up? Let me just see. So it opens up at the nose. Oh my gosh, can I get it open? Yes. So it is functional though, really, you can't fit anything in there. Maybe, a little little pack maybe some gum or something but i'm not going to be using it for anything i just love it and the color is in a hoop. i don't own any bags in a hoop, so i need an a hoop bag but it's also got the little hands are in nata and then it's got noir little feet and then at the smile is in Rouge Cellier, which is like a really dark, dark, dark red. So again, you know, it would probably go on, you know, a lot of my neutral bags as well. Maybe not with this twilly, but I have a lot of neutral bags. But this is the first bag. Actually, the leather is in Tadillac. So Tadillac is very similar to box leather. So it is very smooth. It's slightly more maybe... It's very, it's just very similar to box leather, but it also has chev leather on the little uh, hands and feet. So it's a mixture of leathers. So my very first little Kelly doll charm in Tadillac. I think this is the perfect combo. A lot of the other combos in the past were very bright, but I was so happy when I was offered this. Okay, don't die guys when you hear the price because it's very expensive, but there are people that just collect all of these in all different colors. I think I'm probably just happy with the one, but this one here is $5,465. And it is super expensive, but also you need to know in terms of the craftsmanship, Anything really miniature like this, it actually takes a really, really long time to make because essentially it is like a nano, nano, nano Kelly, but they've got to add eyes, hands, and little feet to it. So to me, it is like a little piece of artwork. I don't think I'm gonna collect them, but 
you know, never say never, because I never like to say that, but I'm really, really happy with this combo and I just absolutely, absolutely adore it and so glad I got it. And then finally, let's get to the giveaway. So it is from Loewe. First time I've given something away from Loewe, but as I said, most of you voted that you wanted a Loewe card holder. And I got one of their most iconic styles. I love this one. Glad I got it because it sold out afterwards. And it is dun, 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 the puzzle card holder. And this one here is in a really dark, it looks like it's black, but it's this beautiful dark blue. And I love the contrast stitching. And as you know, the puzzle bag is an iconic bag for Loewe. And they always have this card holder. Sometimes they have different colors. Sometimes they have plain versions. But I thought, you know what? You can't go wrong with dark navy, right? Plus I just, yeah, I love a contrast stitch. You also see the Loewe anagram or the logo embossed here, which I love. And inside has got Loewe that's in black leather as well. So you can fit your cards in there. Uh, this retails for about 400, I think 75 Australian dollars. So I'm so excited to start the year off with a giveaway for you guys. It's not the end because I still will be doing my Lunar New Year red packet plus an additional giveaway. I love giving back to you guys. It makes me so happy. So all you need to do is one, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click that bell and select all notifications. So you're notified every time I upload a video. Secondly, give this video a big thumbs up. And then third, comment below, what was your favorite item from my entire reveals today? Don't leave your Instagram handle or your email this time because YouTube keeps deleting that. So just make sure you follow all the steps. That is mandatory. What I will do is I'll leave the giveaway open for two weeks and then I will select the winner and reply to your comment in this video. So make sure you do comment. And if you would like bonus entries, just head on over to my Instagram and I will have a picture of this unboxing it and just make sure you follow me on my Instagram, Mel in Melbourne, like the picture, tag a couple of friends and then share on your stories. Mim Loewe giveaway and that's it. But that is just bonus entries. So that is the first giveaway for 2023. I've got heaps more planned. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to check out the free people range. I am really loving their pieces. I totally am going to add some more. I love mixing high and low and vintage. Fun fact, these are the earrings I think I designed maybe 15 to 20 years ago and I'm still wearing them. So they're almost vintage, right? So I do want to thank Free People and Klarna again for partnering with me on this video. Big kisses, guys. Here's to a better 2023 and I will catch you really soon in my next video. Bye!